Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. So today, ang pag-usapan talaga natin is RCBC's only installment feature. So guys, a lot of you have been asking. I posted some on my TikTok. Kung hindi niyo pa ako follow sa TikTok, follow niyo na ako pati sa Facebook page ko. Kasi guys, you can... oh, pati na rin sa Instagram as always. Anyways, so guys, ang RCBC only installment, ito ang feature na sa totoo lang, siya lang dito ang meron itong 0% interest kung 3 months mo gagawin yung only installment niya. Now, only installment feature, pag-usapan natin, ano ba siya? Number one, ang installment feature niya is pwedeng lahat ng or kahit anong binili mo using your RCBC card, pwede mo siya gawing installment. So, kung 3 months mo siya gagawin, yun yung pinaka-minimum months, 3 months installment siya, equal payment siya, 0% interest siya. Pwede mo rin siyang pahabain to 36 months, pero may interest na siya kung above 3 months na yung installment mo. So, guys, ano ba minin yung installment? Installment, Kung may item ka worth, let's say, 9,000 pesos, gusto mo gawin or i-avail itong only installment ni RCBC na 3 months installment siya, 0% interest, ang babayaran mo is 3,000 per month. Kasi i-divide mo by 3 yung total item na pinurchase mo. Now, pwede mo rin pahabain yan to 36 months, 12 months, 24 months, kahit ano. You have options. But, meron na siyang interest. Yun lang yon Yun yung alalahin mo. So guys, now, ang tatanong niyo sa akin, okay, Jax, paano ba natin gagawin itong only installment? Okay. So guys, meron kang three ways to avail for this only installment features. Number one, yung pinaka-recommendation kong process is definitely via the digital app or digital banking app ni RCBC. Because, mas mura yung mga charges niya and mas madali at saka, guys, kaya mo siyang gawin by yourself. Pag ayaw mo naman, pwede ka rin mag-email, pwede ka rin mag-hotline. But guys, iba yung mga fees na yan. And i-discuss ko yan isa-isa sa inyo. Okay. Number one, ipapakita ko muna sa inyo how I did it for my digital app. So, for my digital app, syempre, alam nyo naman ang pinaka-importante sa akin because, again, whenever I teach you things, lagi kailangan may video tayo. So, open your RCBC Digital Banking app. Yun yung unang-una na kailangan mong gawin, definitely. And then, you're going to tap on your RCBC credit card. Sa RCBC credit card mo, makikita mo, okay, ano yung credit card na meron ka. And then, when you click on Recent Transactions, makita mo ang transactions na pwede mong gawin or pwede mong i-avail into only installment. And then, if it's a valid transaction, magkakaroon siya ng arrow. Di ba? Magkaka-arrow siya. When you swipe it, meron siyang convert to installment. Ganun lang po siya kasimple. So, for example, sabi niyo, Jax, gusto ko naman, actual, gusto ko yung mga pictures na talagang ginawa mo yung only installment. Okay. Merong meron yan kasi ginawa ko na rin yan para sa inyo. I tried it. Kung hindi nyo ako sa TikTok, hindi nyo nakita yan. Pero kung finalo nyo ako sa TikTok, nakita nyo yon. Okay. Anyways, so this is one of the transactions that I did. So I had a transaction where I went um, to purchase an item worth 31,548 pesos. Now, dahil nga may arrow siyang ganito, pwede ko i-swipe to the left and then makikita ko all of the convert to installment options. Now, here are the options that was provided for me. Meron siyang 36 months, 24 months, 18 months, 12 months, 9 months, at 6 months. Kung napansin mo dito, guys, lahat ng 36 months up to 6 months na yan, or 6 months to 36 months na yan, meron siyang effective interest rate, which is 1 point something something. Kasi nga, may, add -on, mon may monthly add-on rate yan na 1% interest. In short, guys, pag pinahaba mo siya more than the 3 months, meron siyang interest. Hindi siya parang 0% installment feature. So, yun po yung kailangan yung alalahanin. But, Notice here on this other screenshot, if chinus ko yung 3%, ayo sorry, if chinus ko yung 3 months to pay, effective interest rate niya or interest rate niya is 0%, equal payments ang gagawin ko for this purchase of 10,516 pesos only. So, ang recommendation ko, syempre, kung gusto mo gawin installment yung purchase mo na yan, RCBC yung credit card mo, dun ka tayo sa 0% interest. 3 months nga lang siya. But guys, at the end of the day, mura siya kasi nga, di ba? 0% ang interest niya. Now, sasabihin nyo, Jax, may mga fees ba to? Yes, of course, definitely may fees to. Now, I'm going to run you through each of those fees. So for the fees, guys, number one, if you use your RCBC digital banking app, kung below 10,000 pesos yung item niyan, ang processing fee niya is 100 pesos. One-time processing fee lang to, ha? If it's 10,000 to 30,000 pesos, below 30,000 pesos, it's 200 pesos. Pero pag ginawa mong customer service hotline or in-email request mo, 
na below 30,000 pesos siya, ang processing fee niya is 250 pesos. Kaya sinasabi ko sa inyo guys, dun mo na sa app gawin yan because mas mura yung fees niya. If you do not, mahal po siya. ba? Kung 200 kaya mo bayan or 100 pesos na mabayaran mo pero dahil hinotline mo siya, dahil in-email mo siya, 250 pesos siya. Saan yung pera mo dun, ba? And then, of course, eto na siya. If it is above 30,000 pesos, definitely the fee here or the processing fee is 1%. Guys, so ang 1% na yan, kahit na sa app mo gawin yan, customer hotline mo gawin yan, or sa email mo gawin yan, at 1% talaga siya. Basta above 30,000 pesos na yung item na binili mo. Okay? So guys, paano mo i-compute ang 1% yan? Basically, total item times 0.01. Diyan yung presyo niya. Yun yung presyo ng processing fee pala. So yun po yung alalahan niyo. Again, that's the processing fee lang. Kung, for example, sasabihin nyo, eh, paano, Jax, may interest pa ba yung mga item na pa-purchase ko na? Or kung ginawa kong installment, may interest rin ba yon? Pag 3 months, 0% interest. Pag above 3 months siya, may interest siya. Ang processing fee, standard po siya. Basta, ginawa mong installment, meron kang processing fee. Yun yung alalaan ninyo. Okay, some of the pinaka-important FAQs. Number one, Jax, meron bang minimum na pwedeng gawing installment yung item? Wala siyang minimum as per RCBC's website. Number two, meron bang maximum times na pwedeng mo gawing installment? Wala rin po. So kahit ilan pong transaction yan, basta gusto mo gawing installment, pwedeng-pwede. Number three, is the processing fee always nanjan? Ito charge ka pa talaga ng processing fee? Yes, ito charge ka. Basta ginawa mo siyang only installment. Number four, sa ang mga credit cards pwede to. RCBC credit card, sa RCBC credit card ka, meron po siyang features na ganito. Five, meron pa ba ibang bako na medyo ganito yung only installment features niya? Sa totoo lang, once, the ones that I have, RCBC is the one na talagang 0% siya, 3 months siya. And very minimal naman, sa totoo, yung charges niya when it comes to becoming in only installment, di ba? Kung below 30,000 pesos siya, it's 200 pesos. Kung 10, below 10,000 pesos, it's 100 pesos. So parang processing fee talaga yung binabayaran mo. It's not interest, di ba? So tag technically, talaga wala ang interest yung item mo na yun. Which is something that, you know, it's a very good perk of this credit card because not all credit cards offer something like this, di ba? Okay. Um, final reminders ko lang sa inyo, guys, ha? Again, number one, Pinaka-importante lang yung sinasabi, pag wala kang item o wala kang pera na yan, hindi mo kailan yung item na yan, huwag mo nang bilhin. Rather than mabaon po tayo sa utang. Lagi ko sinasabi sa inyo, at lagi ko reminder sa inyo yon Items that you need, you buy it. But if you don't need it, then don't. Okay? Installment is a feature for you to use depending on what item you need. Sa totoo lang, for me, there's nothing wrong with installment items when paying with installment. Basta you make sure that you have that money in your bank account set aside already for that item. The last thing that, syempre, we want for you is hindi mo bayaran yung installment mo. Diba? Lagi po sinasabi. Installment really is something that helps you manage your cash flow. Diba? For example, kung binili mo yung item na 0% installment, 12 months to pay siya, and mali mo, ginagamit mo yung item na yan for your business, diba? for you to uh, generate revenue. Eh di guys, hindi ba napakabongga? Kasi at least habang binabayaran mo siya unti-unti, you're already, you know, recovering the cost that you paid for that item. Kung hindi siya naka-installment, eh di one time bagsakan mo, eh di parang nawalan ka kagad ng pera yan. But if you are able to generate income, technically, bahandaan mo binabayaran yung item na yan, mali mo in the, kung 12 months to pay yung item na yan, mali mo in the third month pa lang, nabayaran mo yung item mo yan, kumikita ka na lang, kumikita ka na lang malaking pera, nabawi mo na yung item na yan, may pera ka pa as pang araw-araw mo, di ba? Kaya lagi siya sabi, you have to think wisely first on items that you need to spend. And then installment is always a feature. Um, it's always a tool. The same way that credit card is always a tool for you to manage your funds. It's not something for you to overspend. It's not something for you to buy the ones that you want na wala kang pera na yun. Again, guys, lagi kong munting paalala sa inyo yan. I love ko sasabihin nyo, sirang plaka na ito. Si Jax pa ulit-ulit dyan. But at the end of the day, guys, lagi ko sinasabi sa inyo, credit card will never be the enemy. The enemy will always be you yourself and the, your mindset, di ba? On how you buy things, spend your money, and, you know, manage your money, di ba? It's really about you. And at the end of the day, use your credit cards wisely. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's quite short, pero comment down below kung may iba ka pang item na gusto mo pag-usapan natin, yung mga features as well. And of course, syempre, ipa-plug ko ulit, don't forget, join the Cascas and Buddies group because at the end of the day, guys, I learned so many things from there. You can also learn from a lot of people. And if you have questions, then definitely ask one of our buddies there because 
what we really want to build is where we can maximize our credit card, maximize our money. And you know, talaga hack our way in life. Yun na talaga pinaka-importante. So I will see you on the next vlog. Bye guys!